Bong, 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 bong. Give us a bong, Jimmy. Bong, bong. Give us for you. Bong, bong. Good bongs. They were very good bongs. <laughs> That's it. Uh, four more. Bong, bong, bong. Bong. Well, there you are, folks. It's 12 Bongs, and you are very welcome to the shout out show with special guest Jimmy Jest. S, put the S on the end. Yes, we are delighted. The man has made it. He's travelled the whole way from Edgewardstown, from another county, into our county, Westmead. And yes, he did slag us off before, but we will chat to him later about that. So let's start off, folks, with an association with Apache Pizza. We bring you the shout out show. And yes, indeed, we're going to start off with some wedding anniversaries. Yes, there's a lot of people having wedding anniversaries. There's a pile of them today. And a great man called Jimmy, uh, he calls himself Harry Jimmy and uh, Caroline I don't know how hairy Caroline is but they're 25 years married today and they are in y'all so a big shout out to you both and you are legends uh, looking forward to meeting you again on the road when we get on the road when we get this bus moving we have it all ready the chassis is working 100% the drive shaft is sorted we are ready for rocking and rolling just need some sign from above but let's continue yes a 25 year wedding anniversary we have a 5 year uh, oh a 5 uh, five year old birthday yeah that's Zoe Zoe is in Dunleo and uh here in Dunleo and it's Melanie's uh, oh, Melanie's the, the auntie and Jessica is the mother and uh, Kay is the grandmother so a big big happy birthday a fifth happy birthday to you Zoe and Zoe actually sat in this seat I'm nearly sure when we went live outside Kay's house in Dunleo when we were there okay let's continue with another wedding anniversary coming in from uh, Jimmy and Ned Dolan Yes, I have a relation in Australia and his name is Ned Dolan. Would you believe it? Now, some people call him Paddy. I don't know when he went to Australia and it says, I'm going to take up a new name of Ned. But anyway, they call him Ned and he is 53 years married uh, to Judy. And Judy is looking for a medal from Ned. <laughs> So that's the story there. Okay, Samantha and Leo Scally are married nine years. Congratulations to you both. And looking forward to uh, Samantha introducing the show tomorrow. We asked her today, so she didn't even tell me she was married nine years to herself and Leo. So congratulations to you both. Okay, we have wedding anniversary from... Oh yes, a birthday. Birthday greetings coming in from Rachel Hickey. And this comes in from uh, Leon uh, Matthews. And he is wishing you a happy happy birthday my dear now we always do a recommendation on our Facebook page and our recommendation today is uh, Ian Delaney and he's an Irish artist he has put up a lot of his uh, paintings on his Facebook page if you'd like to buy them you're very very welcome a lot of scenery and it's ideal for anyone who's looking in from far away or diaspora you're looking for a sort of a picture of Ireland check out Ian Delaney Irish artist he's on Facebook and that's our Facebook recommendation for today so let me see oh we're going to reckon uh, there's a theatre open folks there's a gig on somewhere and the gig is on the Art Centre tomorrow night with the Lur Quartet and limited available tickets at the moment so that is in the Art Centre tomorrow night with the Lur Quartet at 8 o'clock and uh, second wedding anniversary goes to Natalie and Kieran. We were singing at their wedding two years ago and it only seems like yesterday. But congratulations to you both and uh, wishing you very, very well. Two years into the uh, wedding, but I think they're there long, they're friends for a long, long time before that. So birthday shout outs going to James Lowry. Yes, local legend, ladies and gentlemen. James plays the guitar and uh, he's a teacher and an absolute gentleman. And he was on this bus. Yes, he went live with us uh, way, way back. And we're sending our regards out to you, James Lowry, on your birthday. S uh, Sylvia Gilmore, it's your birthday. Happy birthday from the shout out show. And Conroy, JP. Yes, JP Conroy. Happy, happy birthday to you. And Gerald Middleton, and he is in Ross Gray. He should be in Cork, but he's not. His name is Middleton, and he's in Ross Gray. And let me see, we have Tony Baker, and he's in Maidenstone in Kent. Happy birthday to you. Gerald Nugent is in 
Ken Road, yes, and he's in County Offaly. Uh, Jason Turner is in Mullingar, and actually we went live with Jason Turner, and uh, there is FedEx just passing. And uh, let me see, who else have we got here? We've got Ian Turner. Oh, no, no, Jason Turner, that's right. And Ian O'Flynn is in Roger Bridge. Uh, happy birthday to you. Just after coming home from America. Yeah, just leave it there, boss. 100%. <laughs> 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 Amy McCormick is there as well. And it's happy birthday to you, Amy. And Kathleen uh, Donahue is in Nick. Nice, uh, happy birthday to you. And Barry Walsh, the legendary golfer, happy birthday to you. And Anya Doherty in Killarney, a happy, happy birthday to you. So all our friends who are looking in and all our friends who have happy birthdays and anniversaries, thank you very, very much indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a legend in our midst. I've been, I'm a fan of this man. He is from Longford. He is a singer. He's a comedian. He's a politician. He's a gardener and uh, he's a super TV superstar, yes, and video creator. Born and bred and reared in uh, Ennis, no, Edgewardstown, <laughs> not Enniscorthy. <laughs> and the importance uh, would like the world, uh, yeah, it's important to look at the world from an angle. Uh, from a different perspective with a certic, cer, cer, ter, 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 what? A certain. <laughs> certain degree of... <laughs> Hello and how are you? <laughs> Poor Ray is getting tongue tied there because I think all that was lies in that description. <laughs> that description anyway. <laughs> Jimmy, it's an absolute pleasure and thank you very, very much for coming on board the bus. We've the door open, the heat is on, yeah, it's a the roster, weather yeah. is absolutely, and we have, look, we have buns. And everything, Jimmy, what do you think? You'll have to uh, try, try one of them and start well, talking. Well, well, let's try it, try it. Yeah, Is yeah. that homemade jam? This is home make, make that. Yeah, this is homemade jam. And uh, do you know what? Now, it's this good, but it's not as good as my wife. No. Very no. important. Oh, yeah, She's yeah, watching. Yeah, hello, yeah. hello, hello, hello. How are you, Cathy? <laughs> Well, folks, it's as I said, Jimmy. It's great to have you on board, and uh, it's a privilege to be here, Ray. And in in the bus where your uncle Joe sat, the seat is here where your uncle Joe sat. So that's a real privilege. There's Uncle Joe's because, seat yeah, down there. You know, so he sat there in his in his last few gigs, which is a privilege to be here. Mm -hmm. Thanks for welcoming me in. Um, tell us, Jimmy. Um, your your videos are very, very, very funny. How did this video start? How did this video start off for you? I'm two years I had now. On the 25th of September, it'll be two years since Jimmy Jess was started on Facebook. Two and it years. started by accident. Um, I was in the bog one day. And now the turf videos get an awful lot of response because everybody can relate to the, to the bog. And with yeah. a day like that, anybody who hasn't got them home now will get the last chance to get the turf out of the bog. But I was in the bog yeah. and I was looking at 10 rows of turf. Right. And I counted them all and it was 12,000 12, sods. And I said, I have to handle these five times. So that's 60,000 turf I had to handle. But so I got fed up. So I says, I'm going to make a video of this. So I took out my phone just as a distraction. Yeah. And I had bags of turf that I hadn't brought home from the previous was year. Was anyone watching now from the other side, no? No, because uh, it was raining at the time. And I'm the only one that goes to the bog when it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw the bags of turf in the distance and it says, look, I'll, I'll try and find who owns them bags of turf. So I started a campaign right. to find out who the hell left it. That was a disgrace. That's right, yeah. yeah. So that started it off. I didn't set that up, up with Jimmy Jess and I was showing to a fella in, in the pub one day. He says, Jess, you should have to start a page. So I did. And it's just gone mad so, since that in the two years. Yeah. Viral, as I say. Now you're on uh, Instagram as well. Instagram That's Instagram right. and YouTube and Twitter and... And you back them all up onto YouTube, yeah? Yeah, put yeah. them all onto YouTube. Yeah. And, and do you go live or do you... Never gone live, never gone live. Right. I, I don't know why I've never gone live, but yeah. I just haven't. But it's something I might try. Seeing that you go every day here, it's really successful for you, you know? It is. Well, I mean, I reckon um, by going live, it's like, right, let's do it and let's go for it. And yeah. it is press the button. And what happens, it seems, is th things happen. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what it is, but I get a great buzz from it. And sometimes if I go and just try to record it, it doesn't work as good. Yeah, you know? know, so it may be, as I say, with you, the way you've planned it and the way you do it, um, that's probably the best. Yeah, I think, and I think with YouTube, you, you can only go live after a thousand subscribers or something like that. I'm not up there yet. I'm getting there. I'm close to there. So if you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, get there. Maybe I could do a YouTube live. But I might try a Facebook live. And just you, can see do a fa goes. you can do a YouTube live, but you have to do it from a computer. Right, right, you can't do okay. it from your phone. That's yeah. all. So yeah. I'm at the same thing to build up the uh, amount of people that are on. Like there's 
about three or four hundred on both pages mm. and i always say to everyone if you get the chance just hit the subscribe button mm. and that'll make the numbers and then you can go live from your phone yeah which is a handier thing because uh it, you know and if you carry a computer around the place yeah, it's still mad sort of you know restricted where you can do mm. it exactly mm. you know, with the poor wi-fi and edgerstown you'd have to go the, the laptop you know <laughs> it's in so, and out were you born in edgerstown born and reared in the manor in edgerstown go on 1972 yeah. Now, it's only a young go. fella, only young fella. It's a nursing home now, so I might end up in it too, you know. Ah, you Who was it when you were born? It was a maternity. Ah, maternity right, hospital, yeah. yeah. yeah the yeah. nuns had it there. Yeah. yeah. And it was a maternity hospital. And my mother's from Edgerstown. Is she? Yeah. Uh, Fogarty's is my mother's name. Is she on the Jerry Fogarty? Jerry Fogarty. Well, uh, the, where in Edgerstown? Well, in the town. There was out the back. Um, do you know when you go up the... So you're driving into town, you're headed for Granard, and yeah. the, out in the road there, um, there was a house on the left-hand side. It's gone now, and um, yeah. that's where my mother came right. from. Yeah. She could be related to Jerry Fogarty. Jerry, Jerry was further out the Granard Road now. Mm. Yeah, she must be. That's the only Fogarty's I know in Edgerton, so maybe it is. Well, there's a few relations left down there, is all right. There, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're still connecting with our... Is it Fogarty's? They're not Fogarty's, no, but they're, they're relations, Scallies. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, oh. But yeah, anyway, that's the connection. Small to, world, yeah. And it, it's gas <laughs> because the difference between Longford and Westmead is totally different. Ah, yeah, but you're like, I tried the legs at their campaign there to try and get Longford out of Ireland, you know, to try and move because Westmead were infiltrating us. They were coming across the border there at Raton and they were sneaking in at the dead of night. So I'm trying to get that campaign going. So I might resurrect that campaign. And will you, you know? put up borders or build a wall or what? They're just trying to get maybe one big border around the whole county. Okay. Because we, we, we have Connacht on one side, we have Ulster on one side. And we have, you know, we're, we're bordered by, by two provinces there as well. So we're really under pressure there. There's know? another thing I want to ask. Mm. North Longford and South Longford. Longford yeah. is not that big. No, it's not. But I know <laughs> lads that are from North and South. <laughs> They're a different breed in North Longford. Come on. <laughs> Once you go up to Mullignac and Mine and up to Dromarge, you're Jesus Christ. I remember years ago when the Barcos was going ding dong in yeah. Edgerstown, right? Yeah. And all the good bands. And I'm sure you played in it several times. Remember on well. a Saturday night. We'd be coming in. You wouldn't get in with the crowd from North Longford coming down from the hills <laughs> into the markets. And they'd have their good wellies on them, you know. I mean? <laughs> now, I've lots of friends in North Longford, yeah. not, you know, but that's, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. just a different breed. That's the way they are, you know. Brilliant. Well, as I said, uh, Longford, as I said, the connection. And then you're heading for Leitrim. So we were yeah. talking to Seamus uh, O'Rourke there, who was with us mm. not too long ago. And he does a lot of promotion for Longford. He does, yeah. yeah. yeah and he, he, Mrs. Mahan, he's still looking for Mrs. Mahan, I think, isn't he? I think Massive so, yeah. flood there. If anybody sees Mrs. Mahan, get on to Seamus O'Rourke because he wants to find her. <laughs> she ran away with the postman, I believe. No, as well as that, you've done a bit of work with them, but you're involved in theatre as you go along through your life, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We, we must some players there in Edgerstown. It's a great amateur drama group we set up in 2013. Yeah. Um, with the Remember, the gathering was on in 2013. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we set up... A, a, a theatre group there and we're going from strength to strength we have 80 plus members and we have kids mostly youth players as well and we put on plays all the time we've been in backstage we sold out backstage four times this year Pauline Flood is a great woman there in Edgerstown I don't know if you know Pauline she, she works in the Shannon side and she writes plays and we have a current one now it's called um, Charlton's Folly right. we're trying to do a radio play because um, of COVID and everything else. And what part will you play in it now? I, I'm young Tom in, in Charlton's Folly. But it's a story of uh, Charlton, who was a, a guy in, in Edgerstown who many years ago, he was 75 and he was going to get married. Mm -hmm. And his two sisters weren't happy because he was going to leave all the land and everything. Oh, yeah. So they did a job on him with um, a, a, a machine that you'd use more on a bull. <laughs> and because of this, is a true story. And because of that, he... Put them out of the will, and he gave all his money to charity. So now, if you're getting married, if a couple from Westmead or Longford get married, they can apply for Charlton's Folly, and they get a hundred pound. So there you go. Now, true story. This, <laughs> this is especially for our <laughs> they are exclusive. A little bit of history as well. <laughs> and another great thing as well is uh, what we do on our own page is we promote what's good and great about the town. Mm. Uh, with yourself, you're always promoting Longford. You're always mm. saying what's the the good and things. But you, you do with the Longford accent as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. And uh, I hope that Longford is is uh, sort of uh, the Longford leader. They don't think I know yeah. Tongo. Longford leader always promote me. In fairness, Longford yeah. leader are brilliant. Alan Walsh and there, Jessica Thompson. They really do. You know, any bit of publicity they can give me, to give me. You know, and, brilliant. You know, I, I and then a lot of people then contact you as well for videos and that. You get, um, yeah, you get several of them all the time. Just promotional videos for whatever they're doing, whether it's a charity, whatever it is. Mm. You know, mm. so I do the videos and I don't put them up on my own face. Page and apologies to people because it's very hard to flood your own page with yeah, it, yeah. you know. So I just send them to them and then they can put them up on their own 
website or that. It's something I know I did one for a counselling service in Tullamore and you helped me with the egg challenge oh, yeah, there. Yeah, Remember yeah. that. So That's I put that on my own, but something like that or I did one for hospice. Mm. So things like that I will, but the general run of the mill I just do the videos and send them on. Brilliant. You know? Well, as I said, we wish you the very, very best and uh, delighted that you've joined us here on the, the shout out show. And, and, and brilliant for Ray. I hope you're all supporting him. Like 12 o'clock every day, 5 o'clock every day, non stop. He's here in the bus. The camera crew are there, the sound guys, the lighting, they're all there. Makeup. Know, the makeup. <laughs> they didn't get around catering. to me yet. Catering. Oh, catering is there. So support Ray. He's brilliant, you know. Well, look, uh, once again, thanks a million, uh, Jimmy Jest. As I say, keep an eye out for him. As I say, he does some well. He's doing an absolute job. Um, so what's your favourite character or what would be your favourite? Do you name all your characters? No, it's the same guy. Right. Same guy. I've never. I, I've tried maybe a, a, an English or a posh guy, but then what I've decided to do is just me putting on an, a, a, a posh accent the instead. Accent. I don't have any other characters. I just use the one. But Excellent. the one I did yesterday, welcome the dubs down to the pubs in Longford. It's a welcome from Monday because you can't drink in your own pubs, lads. So come on down. I have the scrumpy jack and the Dutch gold in. <laughs> there you are, folks. The legend is in the house. Let me see who else. We've got loads of people looking in. So it'll be, Jenny, God, there's a lot. Of Margaret Murta, how's it going? And Karina Bad is looking in. And Karina always uses our hashtag. She's from Holland and she says from Mullingar, Mullingar. Joan Brown is saying, uh, beautiful day in Taunton. Uh, Annie uh, Dillon says, watching in from Florida hello there David Collins is looking in uh, hi Ray James uh, Jimmy can you wish uh, Anne Dalton from Mullingar in Florida very happy birthday happy birthday happy to birthday you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear happy birthday to you right Bridget Nielsen says hello from Preston uh, Esther Coyle is looking in and wish my nephew uh, Cahill Gibney uh, Old Castle is 21 tomorrow happy, happy birthday, birthday to Cahill. you Cahill from Jimmy and myself Audrey Nielsen is looking in and Audrey sits in our virtual bus every single day in that seat over there so big shout out to you Audrey and we actually were chatting to her long, long ago character and a half uh, Carmen Kennedy says hi Ray I hope you are well and having a better day than me suffering another mad migraine oh sorry about that I uh, hope you're feeling much better um, maybe there's actually a man he can do uh, healing for you if uh, I'll send you a number for him from a distance his name is John John Bracken and he's in Ballinus Law I'll send you some information on him and he might be able to sort out that headache for you okay uh, Teresa O'Reilly is a, I'm on the bus great to know you're on the bus do you see Teresa on the bus yeah, and she's in the, uh, she's in the boot uh, uh, M-A-R-I uh, Marina Tolan's looking in from South Africa uh, Liz Farrell is looking in from Dublin uh, she might come down for the pint she might be down for the pint uh, uh, 8 euro pint it's <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> Carmen Kennedy says hello, guys in the bus screen. Val says hello. Uh, David saying good Jimmy. Love the videos here in Australia. Cheers, David. Keep watching. Brilliant. And uh, let me see. Peter Costello. Yeah, oh, that's boy. The guy who does Peter Garage sessions in Edgestone. He, he's on Facebook. Oh, I've seen you sharing yeah, him. Yeah. Peter Costello. Yeah, Come on, Peter. Peter. Good to know you're watching in. Uh, Paul Cassidy says Jimmy Jess, brilliant, funny man. Great interview, Ray. Thank you very much. And great to have him on the bus. Mary Cross says on the bus, uh, great day outside in Street to uh, Somerset. Woo! Uh, Donny Keys. Hello, Donny. Donny. How's it going? Uh, Loves version of. Um, oh, Jesus. Uh, by the way, it's a lonesome boat, man. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. Uh, Martin Fitzpatrick uh, says, Good afternoon, Ray. Please say hello to all my friends. Definitely. And chat to everyone. Mary Farrell says hello. Uh, love the Longford leader. Always read it online. And Mary Farrell, where in the world are you? John Downey's looking in and saying hello to Ray and Marti Martin. Uh, hope you're both enjoying. We're enjoying the weather. We're enjoying the show. Lizzie Farrell. Uh, Leona Gaskin is looking in and she's on the bus. She's down in Kerry, I think. And says bye. Uh, so she's on there and gone. Bridget Halpin. Hello. Hi, Halpin. That's my sister. Hello, Bridie. <laughs> How are you? And how's all the Halpins? <laughs> so look, we'll drink tea and uh, coffee to you. And uh, thanks very much, folks, Good for looking in. Uh, see you all soon. God bless. Thank you. Let me see now. We turn off this machine. Woo! There we go.